Hi, good evening. Uh, wonderful to be with you all. Uh, yes, so uh, John Ingham, I, am a, um, I work independently as a consultant, trainer, uh, speaker, chair of conferences, uh, technology analyst, a few other things. Uh, I am on the uh, faculty at uh, Cotwigley as well, uh, having done some of the change management and HR modules. Uh, to keep myself busy with different things. Uh, I have uh, managed a number of uh, organisational mergers, uh, quite big, significant global organisations in the past. Uh, partly, I suppose, because I'm so busy with other things these days, um, it's been a few years since I've taken direct responsibility as a programme manager for one of those transactions. Uh, but I have a number of coaching relationships and you know, we, we, we always talk particularly around uh, these sort of key aspects that come along as part of a, uh, a, a, an HR role every now and again. Um, so I'll talk about some of my uh, own personal experience uh, in a couple of those projects as we go through this uh, introductory session. Um, and I might, I might even mention some of my own personal experience because as well as having led um, uh, mergers uh, in organisations, uh, I have, as many of us have, uh, been merged. Uh, uh, participated at the blunt end of a merger uh, and I have to say my own personal experience of having been merged is never, has never really been that terribly wonderful um, and uh, I, I, you know, I, I think sometimes it's as useful to shed light on why M&A sometimes does work and sometimes doesn't uh, to sort of consider our, our own perspectives or the perspective of, of our friends and colleagues of having been through these uh, rather than you know, simply take the, 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 the headquarter um, uh, perspective on, on what we're trying to achieve. So um, I've got a couple of slides we'll go through very quickly in a second, which are basically uh, mergers and acquisitions involve all of the difficulty in restructuring that any restructuring involves. <laughs> it's, it's the same old stuff that you get whenever you do this about the need for project management, change management, communication, leadership, all of those things still exist. The reason why mergers and acquisitions are additionally special and difficult it is because you're bringing these two sets of people, two sets of cultures together, and you've got to somehow meld them and, and, and make them work together. And it's not easy to do. Um, and the main reasons are that you create very different perspectives in the minds of the acquiring and the acquired staff. You know, so all of the organisations doing the acquiring, they're in a you know, really positive frame of mind and it just shows that they're going from strength to strength and you know, their way of doing things is, is, is becoming the way of doing things. And on the other organisation, you've got everybody sort of cowering for cover and regretting and you know, great feelings of loss and distress and you know, very close type of feelings to bereavement in, 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 in many ways. I, 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 I quite often... Um, describe you know, in, in some more generic restructuring uh, where there's an attempt just to take out um, FTEs, to take out full-time equivalents, to take out heads. Uh, it's a little bit like going on a, a diet, you know, when you want, you want to lose a few pounds or a few kilos. Um, so you sort of focus on that for a while and you might actually lose a little bit of weight, but as soon as your focus goes on to something else, the weight just goes back on. And I think a lot of organisational restructurings are the same. You, know, you take staff out, but you, you turn your focus onto something else, and while your back's turned, the, uh, the, the, the extra roles are sort of added back into the business. Um, and I think that happens in an M&A as well, unless you really focus on creating a more effective entity at the end. Uh, what else? Um, you know, we, we planned, we, we sort of managed, we had, we had a, you know, a, a good team to help the business through the transaction. Um, and we took the culture piece really seriously.